Hi everyone, it's lesson number 20 of F-Sketcher free fashion drawing tutorials. And first of all, I want to express my gratitude to all fans. Um, like, um, thank you for all your sweet comments and thank you for being part of F-Sketcher community. And I will try to do my best to upload as much as I can. I do these videos between my projects and uh, my work, studies, so this lesson. Please visit the website fsketcher.com. In drawing session you will section you will find the lesson devoted to this video and there I explain how to draw shoes, these shoes that are in this video and feet in general. So now I'm coloring shoes by Christopher Kane, parts made of patent leather. So right now I'm just coloring everything with a basic color, black. And uh, here I color like all on the like stepping foot. And then I want just to leave you know, that upper part is like reflects light, light really strongly, so I will use a blender, but before I will just add some light reflection and some parts using a white pencil on black marker. So now I'm, I take a blender and then I just start from the like black part on the edges, so the gradient is really smooth and uh, just make this effect. When you use Blender, you, ma you make this really smooth gradient. So, and I use these uh, also for you know this metallic effect on her on the sole of her sh shoes. So, just follow me. And as I said, the details of these shoes made of latent leather. So I use a bit of white ink jelly pen to make the points with a really, really strong reflection of light. If you remember, we did something similar when we uh, were coloring sunglasses. Okay, so now we are going to color the transparent plastic part. So it's transparent but it's a bit dark. So uh, now I'm using cool gray one and uh, first uh, I'm just coloring more the sides mm, and the same on the, on the other foot. So we make shadows and then we color everything with cool gray one. Okay, next I'm taking Prussian color. Mm, it's like a very cool, cool type of blue and really cold and dark. And on plastic surface, I'm mixing it with black marker and I make this transition from like a really bright blue to um, dark and the side I will just color it with black because it's like two shadows. Uh, 
uh, the lower part I just mix it more with uh, black, it's dark, dark blue. I still get like um, new comments on equipment that I use, like on markers. Like I use Pro Markers by Letra Set and about paper as well. I use a bleed proof paper. Also by Letra Set, I've been using this for several years. On the website in the uh, equipment section, you will find uh, information on, on all equipment that I'm using. Okay, now color the plastic part. So I uh, just totally cover everything with cool gray one on both sides, but like let's work with this foot first. Then I make like uh, shades and you see they are like well defined and really strong. Uh, and then with black pencil then I color and a bit like uh, reduce noise with a cool gray one again. And then what I do next, I take again black pencil, make the shades even darker, then I, I'm just repeat this action. After everything dries, I take white jelly pen, white ink jelly pen, and make this like a waved line. And it's and you you know it's it's not something regular. I cannot tell you like draw a curved line or something. it's something like flowing water uh, because more or less plastic like reflects light like water okay so now we are almost uh, finished everything so I'm adding more shadows as like the like the this food that is at the back is the darkest one so we even cannot see the shoes are actually blue because we colored uh, the back part with black and uh, we make the plastic part darker like and uh, almost finished with coloring and it's just the part one of lesson 20 so there is more shoes ahead hope you're in